I'm here to talk to you today about the waste management systems here at the Dairy Learning Center on the University of Wisconsin River Falls Man Valley Farm. These facilities were built here due to their close proximity to campus so that students would be able to utilize the facilities without going too far from campus. The land was already purchased and owned by the UW system and used for other farming purposes such as beef and swine production. Now we will go down to the facility where the cows are housed, the compost bedded pack area. The compost bedded pack utilized here was chosen for multiple reasons. The pack acts as a year's worth of manure storage right under the cows. The bedding pack is tilled twice daily to incorporate the fresh manure into the bedding pack and create an aerobic environment for the bacteria to break down the manure. Wood shavings are added as needed to keep the moisture contents under control and a comfortable bedding pack for the cows. The cows benefit from the soft twice daily tilled pack. This can create less foot and leg problems in the cow herd. However, with this system, management is crucial. The pack must be tilled regularly for proper bacterial breakdown. This compost system results in less odor nuisance problems, which is great due to its close proximity to populations. The parlor and the holding area must be kept very clean. In order to clean the area well, lots of water must be used to wash it down. The water used is the wastewater from the milking system. The manure is scraped and washed to the bottom of the holding area. The manure slurry then gravity flows into the adjacent manure separating room. In the manure separating room, the manure comes from the holding area and is stored in a holding tank. When the holding tank is full, the manure is pumped from the tank to the incline screen separator. The manure then runs down the screen and goes through the roller press. The manure solids are then transferred into a pile to be removed by a skid loader once they accumulate. These solids are then spread on the fields. The liquids removed from the manure are placed in a separate holding tank. When the tank is full, the liquid is pumped to the liquid manure pit. The feed alley is scraped twice daily while the cows are being milked. The manure is pushed into the manure barn with a skid steer where some water is removed by gravity separation. The covered barn prevents additional rainwater from being added to the manure. The manure is then removed with a skid steer and manure spreader and spread in fields that the lab farm operates. The concrete liquid manure pit is divided 60-40. This allows workers to separate runoff water from the compost pad and keep it separate from water removed from the manure. The manure in the liquid manure pit is 99.7% water. The intent while designing the DLC was to separate as much water out as possible so that the manure would be able to be pumped through the center pivot irrigation system. This would eliminate the cost of hauling the manure with tractors to spread on the fields. However, this has not been able to be done up to this point due to current waterway regulations. Currently, the manure is pumped twice annually into a liquid manure tanker and spread on the fields. The compost is removed from the barn annually and placed into compost windrows as seen here. The compost is placed into windrows so that the compost can be turned with a windrow turner when the inner temperature reaches a certain threshold temperature. The windrows are turned until the microbiological breakdown is complete and the compost is ready to be sold. The compost is then offered for sale to those looking to do gardening and landscaping. This offers another revenue stream for the farm and also removes some of the manure units that must otherwise be spread on the limited field acres the farm operates. The DLC employs many different manure management systems. The fundamental idea of the complex is to keep the manure as solid as possible by separating out the liquids when necessary. This is achieved by utilizing a compost bedded pack barn and a manure separator in the parlor holding area. With the cost of fertilizer today, manure must be treated as an asset not a liability. Proper management of this resource must address environmental concerns while maximizing the utilization of this nutrient-rich resource.